All right, today I'm going to show you how to replace a laptop screen on an Asus EEPC with that model number. Uh, you're going to need a couple things: uh, a screwdriver, uh, an extremely one size um, Phillips bit, and a very small uh, straight bit. First thing you need to do is get the cover off the screen, which usually starts best right here at the top. You kind of want to work your screwdriver in there just as easily as possible without bending the plastic and find a clip. Once you do that, you can uh, you want to keep constant pressure on it, and then just twist your way down. This will usually stop. Uh, you make sure you go slowly, and this will stop those plastic clips in there from breaking. And you got to do this all the way around the screen. And make sure you do both sides before trying to lift it off, otherwise you could uh, crack your frame. And remember to hold constant pressure, because if you don't, you could, you could bend the frame and bend the plastic. Which, nobody wants that. Alright. You know, just set this aside for right now. Then you're gonna place your bit with your Phillips bit, if I can find it. Hmm. All right, got it. Sorry about that. And you'll have four screws. I can show you. Here, here here and here and those are the only screws you'll need to remove in this process and make sure it's the little black ones not the silver ones and just set those aside for right now Once you have those screws out, you need to be careful. I've already taken this screen out before, so it's not plugged in. But ordinarily, what happens is, you see this cord right here? This is your monitor cord, and it's got very fragile tips in which plug in to this area right here. What's going to happen is you're going to have gold tape and this tape. You're going to want to peel off the gold tape, and then this tape as well, peel off. Once you get to that plug-in, you have to be very careful not to bend the tips and bring it back out straight. Ordinarily, you'd get um, new tape to cover this up because this tape won't hold it, won't hold the plug-in very well on your new screen. Um, so you can just buy that. Uh, at most any place, uh, Best Buy or online. Here, I have the new screen. Uh, same size, make sure everything's on the same side as it should be. Um, here, I found it's best to just lay it on the keyboard. Uh, kind of peel that tape back, hold it like this. If you're using new tape, you won't have to worry about it, but. And then very gently line it up 
If it doesn't go the first time, don't try to force it. It shouldn't be too hard to fit in. So, there it goes. And this tape will, in my case, just hold it well enough. Make sure you're careful about setting it back down. There are these two guides right here that will hold the wire. Two little plastic guides right in there. Here, I'll try and show you. Just right in there that you can um, you can use to make sure that the wire doesn't bend out. And now you just do your steps in reverse putting screws in make sure not to tighten them too tight the first time because if you do and the other holes don't line up you could strip one of the holes trying to force it in there so just kind of caddy corner them first and then And don't do it too tight yet. Last one. And on this, on the casing, the frame, make sure you start at the bottom first and kind of slide over those hinges down at the bottom and uh, get these clips in first. It's the easiest way I've found to uh, get it started. Once they're in there, you can just work your way up back along the side and just do that and now you have a, a working laptop <laughs>